Hello, my name is Jian Jun. I'm Chinese. I work for the Chinese translation section in the United Nations office at Geneva. So my professional path is quite typical for a translator. I studied um, the English language and literature in university for my undergraduate degree, and then I continued to do a master's in translation and interpretation. After graduation, I worked in Beijing for six years as a translator and interpreter, mainly in the telecom sector. I was passionate about languages since my childhood. I cannot explain where this passion came from, but when I was a little kid, um, of six or seven years old, I could sit in front of the, the TV watching foreign language programs without understanding a word of it. So I was just um, intrigued by how foreigners could communicate with each other, as well as we do, using a totally different sound uh, system. Sorry, using a totally different system of sounds. So that was mysterious, and I really wanted to discover how. So my main responsibility as a revisor is to provide um, self-revised translation um, from English, French, and Spanish into Chinese, covering a wide range of topics such as human rights, disarmament, international law, trade and development, climate change, etc. I really enjoy working on these different topics because I get to learn something new every day. And um, apart from that, I'm also responsible for revising the translations um, done by some of my junior colleagues. So basically, I will compare the original with their translation and see if there is anything that I need to correct or I need to improve. And on top of that, I also do quality control over external translations because in the Chinese translation section, we have about 20 to 25 percent of the documents outsourced to external translators. And for each of these translations, we have to do a quality control procedure to ensure that they meet the UN standards. I'm a linguist, so I tend to see a lot of things from a linguistic point of view. I think there are two things that the UN can do. Um, first, I think the UN can um, further promote the use of plain language because a lot of our documents are written in such a bloated or even archaic style. Um, and even the most seasoned readers of UN documents, like the translators, have to spend a lot of time trying to decipher what they actually mean because there are numerous um, abbreviations, acronyms, Latin words, um, and abstract nouns. So it is even harder, I imagine, for an average person who does not know very much about the UN style to understand the various topics dealt with by the UN. Thank you.